Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to model steel parts with Tekla structures. You will also create steel columns and steel beams to your model. Similarly as with concrete parts, you can find the basic tools for creating steel parts on the ribbon. Under the Steel tab, you can find the tools to create columns, beams, and plates, as well as bolts and welds. You can also create items and assemblies, and there is a tool for editing bolted parts. We will not go into welds or items in these tutorials, but you can find out more about them from Tekla Structures User Assistance. On the side pane, you can find a variety of steel connections from the Applications and Components Catalog. Let's create steel columns to the model. Open the View List and the View Plan Plus 7200. Then, from the ribbon, under Steel, open Steel Column Properties by holding down the Shift key. For steel columns, the profile property defines the shape and size of the column. You can select the desired profile from the profile catalog. Let's go with the profile H, E, A for 100. On the properties pane, change the top position to 10,800 and bottom position to 7,200. Then, pick the grid intersection A1 to place a column. Click Do Not Expand to the warning. Repeat for intersections A2 and A4. Interrupt the command. Next, select the columns. Right-click and select Copy. Pick the grid intersection A1 as the position to copy from and C1 as the position to copy to. Interrupt the command. The columns have now been modeled. Pause here to practice what you just learned. Let's create steel beams to the model. Open the view list and view grid 1. From the ribbon under the steel tab, select the beam tool. Check that the profile is HEA 300. Place a beam by picking the start and end points for the beams. The first point is at grid line A and the elevation 10,800. Place the second point at line B and elevation 12,800. Create another beam from grid line B, elevation 12,800, to grid line C, elevation 10,800. Interrupt the command. Open the view list again and the view grid A. Then, under Window, select Tile Vertically. Select the beams from the 3D view. And on the view grid A, copy the beams to grid lines 2. And 4. Interrupt the command. Beams have now been modeled. Pause here to practice what you just learned. You have now reached the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, you learned where to find the steel modeling tools. You also learned how to create steel columns and steel beams. You can now close this tutorial and proceed to the next.